Welcome to Traveling Oracle, the magical podcast, where we talk energetics, spirituality, and how you can use this etheric knowledge to drastically change, transform, and up-level all areas of your life. Are you ready for the glow up? Let's go. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Traveling Oracle, a magical podcast. It is January. Finally, finally, it's a new year. I don't know about you, but while I love Christmas, like it's a beautiful holiday season. You get all like warm and mushy and, you know, cozy. I... Anytime Christmas comes around, I'm just anxious for the new year to get here. Like, I love, I love new year energy. And I know it's because, you know, I always talk about carrying transformational energy. And the new year has an energy of transformation and change. Even the most stubborn person, even the mo- the person who hates change the most, is more open and more willing in the new year to accept change, to reflect on their life, to kind of see what's going on and what they can do to improve. Like, New Year energy is so powerful. And I know nowadays it's super cool to be like, oh, I'm not setting any New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions aren't good. I'm going to, it's just the same me striving for um, more. It's like, I mean, like, it's cool to say that. It's cool. I get it. However... January is the month that's seeded with energy for manifestation. It's seeded with energy for transformation. It's seeded with energy for for forward movement. Do not waste this energy talking about I'm not making no resolutions. If you don't want to call them resolutions, fine. Call them something else. But definitely use this month to look to your future, to see what you want to improve, to see what new things you want to bring into your life. The energy is powerful and the energy is going to propel you forward. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. And since we're talking about transformational energy in this transformational month of January, I just want to give a little recap about what's happening in my business. There's so many different things happening that you can take advantage of. I am super excited to introduce my new program for 2023, um, and I'm super excited to introduce it in January. It's called Unleashed. And Unleashed is a manifesting container where we deal with wealth energetics, manifestation energetics, how to set up your energy so that your manifestations work. And what is manifestation for those of you, you know, you hear this buzzword, but for some of us, we don't understand exactly what that means. It means deciding you want something, setting the intentions for what you want, and then doing the energetic work to pull it into your personal energy field, and then add anchoring it through your body. And this is a part that a lot of people miss with manifestation. They think it's just like mind wishing or or like wishful thinking um, and magic. And what it actually is, is pulling energy towards you because your body is a vessel, right? We hear that across almost every religion out there, every religion out there agrees that your body is a vessel. And what does a vessel do? It holds. And what is the vessel of the body holding currently and all the time? It's holding the energy of your spirit, right? Something cannot be a vessel unless it's holding, right? And so your body's a vessel holding your spirit, but if it's a vessel, it can also hold other things. It can carry and channel on other things. And what you want to do when you're manifesting is pull the energy of the things that you want towards you and channel it and anchor it in your vessel. Because your body, the vessel, is literally the portal to the 3D world. It's literally the portal to the 3D world because you are made up of two things, your physical body and your consciousness or your soul, right? If you stop talking, well, you're probably not talking right now. (laughs) Close your eyes and start talking without moving your mouth. You're going to hear words forming in your mind. You're going to hear words forming inside your body and you can like think about it. If you're talking inside your body without the use of your mouth and your vocal cords, who's talking? Like, what, what is that? That's your soul. That's your consciousness, 
right? And so you have your body, and on the other hand, you have your soul and your consciousness. And the only way for your soul, and by the way, your soul and your consciousness is really you. You are not your body. Your body is a vessel that houses you, right? But if you have your soul and your consciousness and you have your body, the only way for your soul, the only way for your consciousness to interact with the physical world is through connection with the body. So the body is literally the portal through which energies can interact with the physical world. And so following that, that logic, your body is the thing through which you need to anchor the energies of your manifestations so that they can be produced in a physical world. Because what a lot of us can do, especially those who are spiritually inclined, we've been doing our mindfulness work, our inner work, all the things. A lot of us are really good at drawing energy towards us, but we're terrible at anchoring it in our lives. And this is an issue that I used to have. I used to um, try to manifest things. I'll, I, you know, I'll focus on my goals. I'll set my intentions, my blah, 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 blah. And I could draw things to me. But what used to happen to me was I would draw them to me and then watch them float away from me. I will draw opportunities to me and watch them fizzle out into nothing. And I'm wondering why, why is it that I'm obviously manifesting i'm obviously bringing things to me but i can't make it stick i can't make it stay and blossom and grow in my life and that's when the last bit of information popped up for me that helped me to link everything together i was missing the part where you anchor the manifestation through your portal through your body so that it sticks with you and it doesn't just float on by and so in Unleashed, we talk about first, the first week is wealth energetics, where we deal with the subconscious healing of negative programming that's keeping you separate from financial abundance and wealth energy. We talk about conf confronting your finances, welcoming wealth into your home, welcoming wealth into your personal energy field, because there's so many of us that are completely separate from the energy of, of, of wealth and abundance, completely separate. And we go through different techniques because I just recorded it yesterday and posted the first week. So the, the um, clients that I have in those programs, we do, we drip it week by week. I release the content and man, I, I channeled such powerful messages for healing your, your, your mindset and healing your energy with financial wealth and abundance. There are so many things that we've gone through in the past, growing up, things that we've absorbed from parents, absorbed from uh, society, absorbed from television that have put a huge distance between ourselves and wealth energy. And so we wonder why no matter how hard we budget, we're poor. We wonder why, how, no matter how hard we work, we get up every day and we work and we work and we start a side business and we start a million things and we work and we work and money is just not coming in. It's because you and the energies are apart. And so no matter how much physical work you put in, you are not closing the gap because you can't see the gap with your physical eyes. It's an energetic problem. And what, what I want to drill into people's minds who are in my world and interacts with my content is that you cannot physically outwork stuck energy. You cannot physically outwork energy. If you want to change something in your physical world, you first must change it in your internal energetic world and then apply the physical actions. I can't stress that enough because that goes for every single thing in life. You're unlucky in love. You're always attracting an abusive person or someone who doesn't treat you well or just a crappy situation in love. That is a physical outside 3D world reflection of internal beliefs that you have about yourself, about love, and about what you deserve in love. Everything you're seeing in the 3D world is a reflection of your inner belief system, your inner energetics. If you get nothing from me ever, get that. Get that. In week two, we talk about the building blocks of manifestation, the part that gratitude plays in seeding and, and getting ready your energy to manifest, to receive manifestation. There's some preparatory work that's highly important and it helps you to manifest 
much faster and it helps you to anchor manifest manifestations much better. Week three, we talk about different manifestation methods and more importantly, your self-concept. That is going to be the key to your manifestation because the way you see yourself is the way you will move through the world. The way you see yourself is the way the universe will reflect your inner beliefs in the 3D. So we talk about self-concepts and the high vibe morning, how taking charge of your morning and creating a routine around that, that channels your self-concept knowledge. Ooh, that's going to be super powerful and be a game changer. Week four, we talk about anchoring your manifestations into physical reality. That's where we do the body work. That's where we learn to connect with our body and to be able to channel the energy of our manifestations and anchor them in our body. So they are here to stay in our lives. I cannot, I cannot tell you how excited I am for that program because I know that program is going to change lives. So that's Unleashed. And if you are interested in Unleashed, even though we've started, you can still join because all of this is pre-recorded content with activities throughout the week for you to do to create and cultivate that energy that we're talking about. So if you really, really want to join, there's going to be a link in the show notes below. You can find me on Instagram. It's linked everywhere in on all my social media platforms. You can go ahead to the landing page. The payment options are for the entirety of the program. I have done the lowest uh, cost that I've done ever because I feel like it's super important for people to have this in January and I don't want finances to be uh, a border for that. So this program for the four weeks, it's 200 US dollars and there's also a payment plan where you can pay weekly if you're not able to just have it up front. So I'm super excited about that. And of course I have my signature, signature, why can I talk? Of course I have my signature coaching program awakened. That is a powerful program for anyone going through a spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakening can be a really destabilizing time, a really confusing time. It's a time where everything around you in your life is burning and you're not sure what to do. So if you're going through a spiritual awakening, this is a program that will help you to balance your mind, your body, and your spirit. It will help you to go on a journey inwards, a journey to figuring out who you really are, because a spiritual awakening has a way of stripping away the foolishness, right? You're stripping away the person you've built up until this point and stripping away those layers is painful. It's confusing and it's scary. And so a program like this is going to help you to find some direction. And even though it's still going to be confusing, it's like, it's much better to have a map when you're lost trying to figure it out than being lost without a map right? It's much better to have someone there who knows the area and can be like, okay, I know it looks bad, but look, here's the direction where the the river is. Here's the direction where the sun is, which means the town is in that direction. Do you know what I mean? Just a bit of guidance so that you're not just chaotically spinning through until eventually you figure something out months later when you could have it all together this month. Also, because a spiritual awakening can be so intense, I feel like a lot of people wander through it and block themselves off and try to end it without really understanding what it was trying to reveal in the first place, without getting deep into what it was trying to unlock within you. Because a spiritual awakening doesn't happen for no reason. It's a time of unlocking of who you are, of whatever spiritual gifts you might have, of whatever your purpose is supposed to be in this life. And because it can be so painful and people feel so alone during a spiritual awakening, what they do is they try to like stop it. They try to block it. They try to like cut it off. And what that ends up doing is it just prolongs it and it's coming back around. And it's like, if you had a program that can help you understand what it's trying to unlock, unlock, it can help you understand where you're trying to go, what you're trying to unearth, how to unlock the things that it's trying to unlock within you. You can get this done. Boom, boom, boom. Move through that, that phase because a spiritual awakening is never just one thing. Trust me. It's never just one thing, but that first That first or second spiritual awakening wave, it's always the most intense. But after that, once you have the tools and you know how to move, it's like, okay, I feel another awakening coming, but I got this. So my awakening program, my signature awakening program is priced at $8,000. 
888. So that's 888 US dollars. For those of you who listen to my podcast, I will always give a discount of $100 for Awakened specifically. Um, And so for those of you going through Awakening, I cannot wait to see you in the program. For those of you who are ready to manifest and deal with your wealth energy, I cannot wait to see you in Unleashed. And lastly, my new free products that I'm putting out there um, is my Spiritual Awakening community. I have decided to create a community for people on the spiritual path, those of us who are awakening, those of us who've been here a bit longer and have awakened many times. Um, And in this space, I will be doing energetic readings every Monday, readings for the week. What is it that we need to work on this week? What is it that we need to watch out for this week? Um, What messages does spirit have for us? And so if that's something you're really interested in, this is going to be free of charge. There's going to be a link in the show notes as well as on my platforms as usual. Um, Definitely join that program, download the app, put on your notifications because I can feel that that kind of personal connection between you and I is going to be super powerful for 2023. And I would say join now because if you join while it's small, it's even easier for me to connect with your personal energy. And so very powerful, specific messages will be coming out for you. So I cannot wait for that. It's going to be amazing. These are the things that are happening for me in my business in 2023. And I cannot wait for you to interact with the different products I'm putting out there. If you are benefiting from any of my products, free or paid, Please let somebody know who you think will benefit from it because my business works on referrals. When I do a good job with my clients and they tell other clients, that's how I grow. That's how I reach other people. So I brought a few cards with me. I felt the prompt to do so um, when starting this uh, recording. And so I put it down upside down. And the first card that I just saw just sitting there while I was talking this whole time was Awakening. It's a beautiful woman just floating in the what looks like the galaxy in among stars and things. And it says awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. And I feel that energy. That is the energy of January. A lot of you are going to have to figure out a new way of being this year. And, and for some of you, it scares you and you might want to revert to your old way of moving. And I'm going to say to you right now, when you feel that pull, when you're about to make a decision to do something new or to do something a different way, and you feel that pull that says, oh no, you shouldn't do that. Um, It's going to be too much work or it's going to be too hard. Like what's wrong with the way you've always done it? I want you to interrupt that thought and say, no, these are just my fears trying to hold me back. These are just my fears trying to hold me in my comfort zone. And we know that in order to grow, develop, and move forward, we have to step out of our comfort zone. Interrupt those thoughts, interrupt those fears, and do not allow them to steer your life. Do not allow them to decide the directions of your life because so many of us, we have great ideas about how we want to move forward in our lives. We have great ideas about what we want to build and we know the little things that we need to do to make these things happen, but we allow the feeling of comfort or sorry, the feeling of fear masqueraded as comfort, masqueraded as efficiency, masquerading as all these different things to hold us back. Because what fear tries to tell you is, no, do it the way you've always done, because you know that better. It'll be faster. It'll be quicker. It'll be easier. Listen, in 2023, we're not about easier. We're about progress. We're about building the things that have been on our hearts to build for years, for months that we've been afraid, that we've been procrastinating with, that we've been putting off because we've been allowing our our negative self-talk to hold us back. We're not doing that anymore in 2023. And I want you to say that with me right now. I am not allowing negative self-talk to hold me back in 2023. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'm going to be the person I know I can be. I'm going to be the person I know life wants me to be. I am going to be that abundant person. I'm going to be that compassionate person. I'm going to be that inspiring person. I'm going to be the person that I know has been written 
on my soul for me to express in this lifetime that I've been avoiding, that I've been falling short of, that I've not allowed myself to grow into, that I've not allowed myself to be because I feel like, who am I? How dare I? You know, how dare you not? How dare you not be the awesome woman that you know you're supposed to be in every aspect of your life? How dare you play small to to fit into other people's expectations, to fit into other people's storylines, to fit into what other people want you to be? How dare you? How dare you dwarf your energy so that other people can feel comfortable around you? How dare you? How dare you cut your potential short? How dare you minimize yourself? How dare you minimize your potential so that you can fit into someone else's story? I hear you. I'm hearing that so many of you out there, you're allowing love interest to minimize your light. You're allowing love interest to minimize your power, to to put your energy and your power in a box. You're cowering so that you can make someone else happy. And let me tell you, anybody out there who makes you feel like you have to be less to be loved by them is not the person for you. And 2023 is the year that you have to stand up, you have to set your boundaries and enforce them. 2023 is the year of blossoming and blooming. We are no longer allowing anyone to hide us under a bushel. We're no longer allowing anyone to dim our lights. We're no longer allowing jealous friends to to have energetic dominance over us. You're going to be you this year. That's what's calling you. You're going to be fully, fully present. You're going to be fully, fully committed to yourself your self-love, your, your self-development, your career development, your business development, you're going to do you this year. That's the message that's calling you this January. That's the energy that's tugging on your soul this January. And how are you going to do this? By getting your shit together, girl. That's how. How are you going to get your shit together? You're going to give yourself me time. You need space to connect with yourself. Connect with yourself in meditation. If you're not a meditation person yet, this is the year to pick that up. I have a meditation course for beginners. I got you, girl. Check the links in my bio on Instagram or TikTok. And I'll also put it in the show notes below, of course. You're going to start valuing yourself and your needs as much as you value the needs of other people around you. You're going to start doing your meditation. You're going to start doing your exercises to get your body in shape, to get your, to connect with your body, to form a relationship with your body. Some of you, myself included, y'all have no proper connection with the only thing in this physical world that you truly own. The only thing in this physical world that nobody can take away from you, your body, and you don't have a proper connection with it, that has to change in 2023. Your portal to the physical One of the most important things in your possession and you have no connection with it. We've got to fix that in 2023. You've got to start doing your exercises. You've got to start doing something to connect you with your body, something like yoga even. And if if exercising is too hard for you, do a bit of beginner's yoga because that gives you the physical activity and the mental connection with your body. You've got to do something to connect with your body. Start taking more walks in nature. Start doing things that move you. If you need something to distract you while you're moving your body, pick up a sport. Go play some tennis. Go play some netball. Do do something. We have to stop neglecting our bodies in 2023. That's a part of the reason why some of us cannot anchor our manifestations because we have no connection literally with the portal that we need to use to anchor the manifestation. We have no connection with the physical representation of our subconscious or our spirit, the body. We have no connection with it. Some of us are wondering why we have all these issues with 
love and partnership and things like that, it's because we haven't learned to love ourselves. We haven't learned to love our bodies. We haven't learned, we haven't built up that level of self-love that would open and activate the energy of allowing a healthy partner in. And in February, I'm going to be launching another program that's specifically for self-love. I cannot wait for that to, <laughs> that program to start. Ooh, I have a lot of programs to, to get through, but it's super important in February when the energy is about love to understand and embody self-love because a lot of us understand self-love from a theoretical standpoint in the way we would read a book when we're in school, but we don't understand it in our bodies. We don't we don't have an embodied understanding of what that means. We have an intellectual understanding of self-love. And an intellectual understanding of self-love, unfortunately, will not help you. Man, I just, I feel the energy of change that's trying to come into your life. And I really, really, really hope that you will let it in by forming your own spiritual practice, by giving yourself the time to figure out what you need, or by joining one of my programs, because that structure is there to help you to do the things that you need to do, to have the support when you're feeling weak and you don't want to do the things, or somebody else's programs. Maybe there's another person in the spiritual community that you're also connected with that has a program that's been calling you. Do the programs, honey. Do the programs. Because I... Of course, things have changed for me on my own, but things started to catapult once I started to join different programs that called to me from different spiritual um, persons in the community. Like that joining together of energy is such a catalyst. It's such a powerful catalyst for change and change is trying to come for you. Change is trying to extend its beautiful energy to you. Are you going to open up to it in 2023? That's the question. And as I wrap up today, I am going to shuffle some cards because I'm feeling called to do that to see if there are any other messages that Spirit has for any of you watching here. Okay, the King of Cups popped out and the Four of Wands reversed. I'm dying because <laughs> spiritual awakening cards popped out. So the spiritual awakening card itself popped up in my Oracle deck and in my original um, right away tarot deck, spiritual awakening cards popped up against again. That's a double confirmation. So the King of Cups is telling me that spirit is calling you. There's some of you who are... are Mm, I don't want to say some of you because I feel like everyone is spiritually gifted. Everyone has the ability. It's just that many of us have different types of spiritual gifts and some of us have been further along on the road so we can feel them easier. But we all have the ability to connect with spirit. And this year, for a lot of you, spirit is calling you to build that connection, to connect with your emotions inside and to understand that the journey to the spiritual world is not in the 3D, it's inside. And that's why I always push meditation because the journey to the spiritual world, the way to develop that co uh, connection is to go inside. There, you know, there's a part in the Bible that talks about how you contain multitudes. Inside of you is the avenue. Inside of you, there is a path to all of the spiritual worlds, to all of the spiritual connections with spirit guides and ancestors and angels and all of the things, you're being called to that this year. And don't be afraid because you might not want to do spiritual work like me. You might not want to start a podcast about spirituality or start a spiritual business. That's fine. That's fine. Everyone's spiritual path is their own and you can develop that strong connection with spirit just for you. And that's what you're being called to. King of cups, you're, you're being called to master your emotions in 2023. You're being called to master your mind in 2023. And through those actions, you will connect with spirit. You cannot connect with yourself and not connect with spirit because you are spirit. Ooh, that's a beautiful message. You are spirit. And the four of wands reverse is telling me, and this is why I realize they're spiritual awakening cards, because the four of wands is telling me there's some lonely times ahead. 
And we often associate lonely times with like, uh, you know, like as being something bad. But what it really is, is an introspective time. It's the time to go inward. It's the time to fully connect with yourself and understand your power. I'm hearing that some of you, you've been beaten down so much for so many years by uh, partners, by family, by friends, people who underestimate you, people who don't think you can do anything other than what they want for you, people who don't believe that you can do the things that you want. You've been beaten down so much by other people's negative perceptions of you that you think that you are who they say you are. And you are not. You are not. And so this year is a journey to yourself. This year is a year that you understand your power. That you understand who the fuck you are. And then you're able to put up your boundaries. You're able to do the things that you want because you need to connect with that internal power first. You need to connect with that internal power to have the audacity to be who you are. And and that is exactly what it is in this world that we live in. To have the audacity to be who you are. That's a powerful message. And I'm going to leave that there. My loves, I'm so happy to be back for season three of The Traveling Oracle. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Definitely remember to join the community. And listen, the messages that are going to come through this year, I can already tell they're powerful. They're a bit blunt. They're not pussyfooting around. They're not beating around the bush. The energy this year is strong and brazen and and the word audacity keeps ringing out in my mind like it's a powerful energy this year so i'll see you guys next week we're gonna be having a conversation with a guest who i absolutely have tons and tons of love for a magical person i can't wait for that conversation about spiritual awakening and oh i also wanted to remind you guys or i should say tell you guys I will not be posting new episodes on Mondays anymore. I'm going to be doing that on Tuesdays. On Mondays, I'm going to be reading energy in the spiritual community because I really want to get that energy out at the beginning of the week so you can listen, um, you can marinate, and you can take action during the week. So new episodes for Traveling Oracle will be on Tuesdays instead of Mondays. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next week or listen to you guys next week or you listen to me next week. You get the point.